Hello, I'm Alex Clark, and you'll never guess what's just been up my arse. This finger. If you could be an animal, yep. what animal would you be? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Honey badger. I knew you, I, I should have known you'd say that. Honey badger. Why honey would badger you like to be a, a honey badger? That'd be a good fight. Honey badger. It depends on in the water or on land. Yeah, and then they could have like a, a, a decider in space. Yeah, well, there's no gravity, yeah. There's no air. Who'd win? A shark be a honey badger in space, there's a question for you. Yeah. I reckon a honey badger. Because you think if the shark ate it, the honey badger probably eats its way out. Yeah, because it doesn't give a shit. It don't give a fuck, does it? Sharks. And its skin is loose, so it can manoeuvre yeah. quite well. Yeah. Um, I mean, it just go and bite the shark's balls from the inside. Yeah, it always goes for the balls. Right, um, so, is there any animal that could beat a honey badger in space? Honey badger in space. Um, Why don't we get our viewers to? Bo uh, a box jellyfish. Because no matter what, oh, that's a good one. if the honey badger box goes at the box jellyfish and tries to bite it, it's getting stung. Okay, let's play top trumps then. Sperm whale, they eat squid and jellyfish. Even box jellyfish? Do you reckon it doesn't even make a, a tiny bit of difference? Oh uh, no, because they must accidentally eat them all the time. So I'm saying that it's a sperm whale. Steve, 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 come back here. <coughs> so we're saying box jellyfish versus sperm whale. Box jellyfish versus sperm whale in space. They're both water animals, so it wouldn't matter. Sperm whale or box jellyfish on land? On land? Yeah. I would... I'd, I, the box jellyfish? Right, no. it depends if... How would it get over to the sperm whale to destroy it? I could beat the box jellyfish on land. Yeah, so but bat. only if you had a, yeah, a spade or a bat. Or shoes. Just good shoes. Just jump up and down on his face. Yeah, I know, but you always run the risk. Because it's not exactly... If you jumped up and down on its face, you would slip. And if you no, slipped... No, Look, mate, I had football boots. Footy boots. One of my favourite ever rugby players, Jason Robinson. Right. Um, ex Wigan Warriors, then turned to Rugby Union. Him. He'd be fast, but I, I get the... Uh, they could beat it to death with these rugby boots. There we go. Yeah, I'd say Jason Robinson, but... Again, if you try to beat it and you accidentally catch your hand... So are we saying Jason Robinson is the hardest thing on, on this earth? But I'm just no, I'm saying that the box jellyfish could still beat him. I don't think he could. Because if he switch right, Jason Robinson has to be precise. Yeah, he could, but the box jellyfish don't know what the fuck he's doing. Just flapping about in space like a knob. That's true. I wonder why it was made to be so uh, lethal. And so far we've determined that the hardest thing on earth is Jason Robinson. I think it would be pretty hard in a fight if he knew how, if he knows how to fight. I think Anderson Silva now. Who's Anderson? I, I'm I'm not into this anything other than bodybuilding. Ah, you Jesus can't really Christ. talk to me. You about. must know who Anderson Silva is. Sounds like a woman. Sounds like a porn star. That's it. Yeah, call Anderson Silva a bird. I mean, sounds like a, a female porn Go star. Go Saint Pierre. Oh, uh, GSP. GSP. Yep. So GSP or Jason Robinson? GSP. Okay. So are we saying GSP could have a honey badger? I don't think you could. I, I think, because in the UFC you're not prepared for things to go for your balls. But the hunting badger true. will always true. go for the balls. Yeah, that, that is so true. So one thing you can't defend against. <coughs> a ball attack a ball attack from a honey badger. Is the most lethal thing. Is the most lethal Because when it takes his balls away, it will take all his testosterone away. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. No, if it's George St. Pierre, he's... He's got all the resources of testosterone. I was being a bit politically correct oh, there. Honey Badger. What, what about in space? Honey Badger being George St. Pierre in space? I think it'd be just the same because it's like, you know, neither are used to being in space, as far as I know, unless the Honey Badgers came from a planet far, far away. I just thought away. a really bad idea about our Honey Badger domination is who the hell is going to get near the Honey Badger to put a little oxygen mask on his face? So GSP will be all oxygened up. Yeah, and be fine. 
and the honey badger will be gasping for air. Can you imagine trying to put an oxygen mask on a honey badger's face? Do you reckon there's any videos out there of anyone trying to put an oxygen mask on a honey badger? There must be. If you have an access, in. if you have access to a honey badger yeah. and an oxygen mask, why don't we get someone um, to send us a, a honey badger? So oh, we'll do it as a video. It'll go viral. Yeah, let's I mean, are you are you prepared to yeah, okay. lose your bottles? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's a honey badger. And raging then just senseless. like go on TRT. Yeah, I'll just go. Yeah, I'll go on gear for the rest of my life. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I think we should try and put an oxygen mask on a honey badger. I've just got it. The ultimate, the ultimate game of how fucking hard you are. Play tea. Who can tea bag a honey badger? <laughs> Honey badger tea bagging, we can call it. Badger bagging. Honey badger tea bagging. And like, if anyone survives with the balls, they're clearly the hardest man that's ever lived. So what, or your balls made. would have to be made out of like adamantium or something? What's adamantium? Um, did you ever watch the X-Men when you were a kid? Not really, I was out right. playing football. When well, I was Wolverine, um, his skeleton is made of adamantium, which is even harder than... Um, Steel or something. Is it harder than a hard cock? It's harder than a hard cock, That's yes. That's hard. Uh, and, uh, you know, you know when the, the things come out? They're made of adamantium. And ah. basically, you can't really break them. Okay, so, I don't know of any man that's got balls made of adamantium. Right, so the honey badger is really hard then, and it will no, bite no. your balls. Yeah, but I'm saying, is, it, I suppose it's not a test of hardness, I guess. It's a test of bravery. We could find the bravest man on earth. Stupidest man on earth. Yes, yeah, the stupidest man on earth. 